Hey everyone, still strike 33 here today, and I'm bringing you a Black Ops 2 video where I go and I go ham, not necessarily super ham, but you know, pretty decently ham, with an LMG. I'm using the MK48 here, and I got a target finder and a stock on it. I find that the stock with lightweight, you put that on an LMG, and you can move pretty quickly. And the target finder really helps because, sure, it can pick out people, but still it has a great reticle and it does add a little bit of extra zoom and even though it blocks out your peripherals sometimes I find that that helps because it, it can help me focus in on what I'm really shooting at so what I'm really gonna do is just kinda talk a little bit about what I'm thinking as I'm going through this and you know I'll point out my mistakes first off a mistake right here I should have known that he was coming for me but for some reason I zoomed in for a second and then just zoomed right back out so here I always try to keep these two sides, the left side and the right side on hijacked on this back part. And here they start they start spawning back where I am and they get me. So I know that they're coming from there, so I'm going to go and I'm going to run over try to pick them all off. I get two there, three there, and I start to move up. I then I get a fourth, then I get a fifth, and I'm staying over to this side trying I'm not really head glitching, and then the sixth and seventh, there I'm kind of head glitching. But not by a lot, because you can still kind of see my chest. But y you want to really, a as Woody's Gamertag would say, you want to control the engagement. Right there, what I did was I put myself in a spot where they had a little target to shoot at, and I had a really large target to shoot at. And when it comes to Hellstorm Missile, I, I'm not very good with it. Th this is the first game I actually tried using it. I usually run the Hunter Killer Care Package with a Lightning Strike. That's what I found really worked for me, but this game I decided, hey, why not? One of my friends was using it, and he said, you know, the Hellstorm's really good. He's like, I took out an entire team with it. So I figured I'd give it a try, and here I get a second one out of my Care Package, and I'm going to go back and I'll use it. You really want to go into safe spots when you use these. So... I pull this one up. Luckily for me, I do get two kills out of this one. You know, I'm still getting there. I'm still trying to get the hang of this Hellstorm missile. I only found out there not long ago that you could actually make it go in faster by holding down the left trigger. So, that's that. Now here, I try to control this back part. Like, I like to go between the three parts in the back. Right side, left side, and then the middle door. And LMGs aren't that great up close. So here I'm thinking, you know, most people will try to come out here to check to see if anyone spawned. And I was waiting for him. So here I decide I want to go up, but there's a ladder fail. <laughs> Eventually I do get up. And I'm basically just trying to check my corners, being very careful because I know that I'm in a spot where if someone finds me with a close quarters weapon, I'm pretty much screwed. So here I'm just checking, check your corners, make sure nothing's coming out of there, and then check down here. What you want to notice though is that I did bring my sight up before I went and put myself out there. If you go out there without your sight up, especially with an LMG, the draw time on it is so slow that you're just, it's going to be almost impossible for you to bring it up fast enough and you're going to die. Uh, so here... I'm basically just trying to be very cautious. For some reason, even though this here is only TDM, I don't know why. I'm I'm a very cautious player. I always try to watch my back, try to see where everyone is. Like I think that I should start playing more Search and Destroy because I try to make every life count. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I go down here knowing that someone's standing there. I thought that that was the guy, but it it turns out there was a secret guy down there, and I don't know what was up with my aim there. I'm <laughs> not even going to try to make an excuse. And here I see that guy spawned in. And now I get him. I try to get him, but I couldn't get him. So I figure I run around, come back, see if he popped back out there, but he didn't. So I go into the middle, and that's when I get taken out. Once again, close quarters, not good for an LMG. I would not recommend it. So here I'm kind of just looking around. And here I use a head glitch. As I said... You know, you put yourself in good spots so that you can get those kills, and you'll be rewarded for it. I set up on a head glitch there, got that guy, it worked out for me. I know that they killed the guy behind me, 
So I bring my sight up before they even get in. I back up so that if a hit marker pops up, they know that I'm there if there's a hit marker. So I backed up to make sure I wouldn't get hit. There was no hit marker, so they thought that the coast was clear. I run in, get the kill, and then down here, I saw a bunch of explosions go off, so I just go. I saw a guy jump out of the window there, so I decided to keep running, because I knew that if I turned around to try to kill him, it, it just wouldn't have worked out for me. And now, here, I'm just going to basically try to keep both areas. And I checked, make sure no one was coming. You need a lot of time to reload this weapon. So you really want to find a good corner, make sure that you're in a spot where, you know, you check your corners, make sure no one's there. So now I see that guy. <laughs> I try to get a little bit of cover at first, and then that's it. I didn't get the final kill, one of my teammates did, but, you know, the LMGs, they're really good. I find that, you know, you strap lightweight on and strap a stock on, target finder, you're, you're good to go.